The VPEP is a new handheld oscillating positive expiratory pressure OPEP device from DR Burton Healthcare. The VPEP is very compact with adjustable resistance. The VPEP demonstrates capacity for superior secretion clearance compared to other OPEP devices. Just as in a forced cough, bursts of expiratory flow help move secretions up the airway. This is depicted in the calculation for oscillatory clearance index, or OCI. The most critical drivers of secretion clearance in the oscillatory clearance index are frequency, or F, and the relationship of peak expiratory flow, VE max, and peak inspiratory flow, VI max. To ensure that secretions flow cephalod towards the patient's head, expiratory flow rate must exceed inspiratory flow rate. To illustrate the importance of expiratory minus inspiratory flow, we measured the VPEP on a human lung breathing simulator. We used a tidal volume of 1200 cc's with a 1.5 second inspiratory time and 0.8 second breath hold. We set the VPEP at its lowest resistance setting and attached it to a bench model airway mimicking a human airway. During breathing, the secretion experiences movement. In the same manner as with the VPEP, we connected two other OPEP products to the simulator to examine the movement of secretions. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of secretion movement for the VPEP and the two other OPEP devices. You can see the secretions move in the airway during simulated breathing. After 12 breaths, here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the OPEP devices. The secretions move the furthest with the VPEP. During the simulated breathing, we can examine the flow volume loops generated by the OPEP device. For OPEP competitor A, the peak expiratory flow is 79 liters per minute. The peak inspiratory flow is 46 liters per minute. So the difference is 33 liters per minute. Now looking at the flow loops generated by the other OPEP device, competitor B, the peak expiratory flow is 65 liters per minute. The peak inspiratory flow is 42 liters per minute. So the difference is 23 liters per minute. Lastly, we repeat the lung simulator with the VPEP device from DR Burton. This device uses a completely different mechanism that reduces expiratory flow resistance and increases inspiratory flow resistance, which produces the greater expiratory flow bias needed to move secretions. With its small, compact design, the VPEP has much lower dead space, so less air needs to be pressurized. This allows the VPEP to be functional at a much lower breath size compared to other products. The peak expiratory flow is 97 liters per minute. The peak inspiratory flow is 44 liters per minute. So the difference is 53 liters per minute. To summarize the three OPEP products, we see that the VPEP has by far the greatest difference between VE and VI. This bias of expiratory flow drives maximum secretion movement. To read the published study, or for more information on the VPEP, contact us.